fighters are masters of combat. In their ranks, you can find champions, elite soldiers, mercenaries, and bandit kings. Their skills with weapons and armor are unparalleled, allowing them to control the battlefield. This class is for the brave and disciplined who aren't afraid to get down and dirty. The first thing we need to do for the fighter class is build our gear. This will be enchanted netherite armor, sword, and an enchanted shield. You can do this by using enchanting books, like this sharpness book. Get your item, and then using an anvil. Put the item on, use the enchanting book, and voila, you've enchanted the item. Here's what I use. I set all the armor up with protection, unbreaking, and mending. The sword I have set up with sharpness, unbreaking, and mending. And then the shield has unbreaking and mending. Alright, now we have one more item that we need to craft. We're going to need to grab an emerald. And using the anvil, we're going to want to rename that. We're going to call it Rally. Once you get that named, you're going to want to get a structure block. If you don't know how to do that, that's going to be a give command. Give at S. Structure. Underscore block and you're gonna put that right into the chat now You didn't see it give it to me because I already had one in my inventory So once you get your structure block set it down on the ground and then make sure that these settings match this You're gonna have X Y and Z all set to one for the size and then the Y offset is going to be positive one You'll know it's right because you'll have this uh, empty box that's being highlighted above the structure block so now you're going to take that emerald named Rally, and you're going to drop it down on top of the structure block like this. Go ahead and click back in, and make sure that you can see the emerald in there. And then you're going to save this as Rally. Now you can get rid of it. That's everything we need to do before the command blocks. Now I know this looks a little intimidating or a little complicated, but it's okay. I will tell you everything you need to know. This is actually really not that bad. So the first one here is going to be a repeating command block that's always active, and this is just going to be a test for. And you'll see that it's going to test for at a tag equals fighter, and you're going to have that with a capital F. From that repeating command block, you're going to have a comparator, and then you're going to put some redstone down right here. Now you'll see I have a repeater running both up and to the left. Neither of these are ticked. I'm going to first show you this one here, and then we'll head over to this side. So this here is just an impulse needs redstone command block, and it's going to be slash execute at p tag equals fighter, tilde tilde tilde, so add a player who has the tag fighter, and it's going to structure load rally tilde tilde one tilde. That's that item that we just saved with the emeralds that we called rally. So it's going to give you that item right away. And that's only going to run one time. Now from over here we have that repeater, we're going to have some more redstone here. From that redstone we're going to have a repeater off to the side, and then a comparator heading straight out from that first repeater. That comparator is going to be clicked. Uh, let me do this loop, and then we will go down to the chain here. So this is just a regular redstone loop, and you'll see that I have three repeaters that are all the way maxed out on ticks. And then I have some redstone running over these two command blocks. This one here is an effect command gives at a tag equals fighter so any player that has the tag fighter it's going to give you strength uh 10 seconds at level one and it's true so it's not going to have any of the particle effects popping up on your screen you'll see this one here is the exact same command except for its speed now when this is running this is going to tick about every two seconds so you will never stop having strength and speed that's something that is part of the class now moving down to here you have that repeater that went off to the side with the repeating command block and a chain. This one here is uh, repeat, needs redstone. It's got a delay and ticks of five. So this is going to be an execute command, execute at E. Type equals item, name equals rally. So it's going to look for when you drop that rally emerald. Then it's going to give it an effect to every player within a radius of ten blocks. And it's going to give them resistance three for 20 seconds. So when the fighter drops this, him and any of his teammates that are within 10 blocks of him are all gonna get a boost. For 20 seconds, they're gonna get resistance three, which means their defense is gonna be basically borderline impregnable. Now attached to that, we have a chain conditional always active command that's gonna be kill at E, type equals item, name equals rally. 
So it's going to get rid of the emerald once you drop it. And then you'll see here, we have slash execute, at P, tag equals fighter, tilde, tilde, tilde. Structure load, rally, tilde, tilde, one, tilde. So once it kills that item, it's then going to summon a new one at your position and give it to you. Basically, once you drop it, you get it back. All right, and the last part is how we're actually going to turn this on. Hidden beneath this, I have a command block, and inside there is a very simple command, it's just an impulse needs redstone, tag, at P, add, fighter. So when somebody comes up and presses this button, it gives them the fighter abilities. Now that you have everything you need to be a fighter, it's time for the most important part. Fighters control battle with superior skills, gear, and tactics. Click on the link here for a playlist specifically designed to teach you battle tactics in Minecraft. This will teach you everything you need to know to own the battlefield. This is Browncode67. I'll catch you next time.